Okay, we're going to write an equation of a line in slope-intercept form given a point and the equation of a perpendicular line to the line that we're trying to find. Okay, first we'll define slope-intercept form, which of course is y equals mx plus b, where m equals the slope and b equals the y-intercept. Okay, so let's find the equation of the line that passes through the point minus 4, 2, and is perpendicular to the line. Perpendicular to the line whose equation is y equals 1 third x plus 7. Okay, so we're going to need the slope in order to find the equation of the line. We have a point, minus 4, 2, uh, but we do have a line that's perpendicular to it. So in the format y equals mx plus b, the coefficient m of x is the slope of that line. So we have the slope of the perpendicular line, which is m equals 1 third. So this is the slope of the line that is perpendicular that creates a right angle with the one we're trying to find. Um, by rule, the inverse of that slope and opposite sign is the slope of the perpendicular line. So the slope that we want to use is negative and then the inverse, 3 over 1, which is negative 3. So this is the slope that we're going to use because the slope, the inverse negative of the perpendicular line will be the slope that we want. Okay, so now we have a point and a slope, minus 3. Now we'll use the um, this equation to find the slope of the equation, which is derived from the slope formula. y minus y1 equals the slope m onto x minus x1. Okay, we, ha we do have a point, so we'll assign x1, y1. Okay, so now we simply exchange the information we have and plug it into the formula x1 is here, so we're going to put that over here. Uh, we also have y1, we're going to put that into here. And we also found the slope. So the slope is minus 3, and we're going to plug that into here. Okay, And then we'll rearrange it to look like y equals mx plus b. So now we go y minus the y1 value, which is 2, equals m is the slope we found is minus 3 onto x minus x1 value, which we assign to be minus 4, so minus minus 4. And before we start rearranging, we'll simplify things a little bit. If we subtract a negative, that turns into a positive. Subtracting a negative is the same thing as addition. So now let's rewrite it. y minus 2 equals minus 3 uh, on to x plus 4. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is get rid of the brackets on the right hand side. So we're going to distribute the minus 3 into the brackets. So we will rewrite the form, the what we have so far is y minus 2 equals minus 3 times x is minus 3x. Minus 3 plus times plus 4 is minus 12. Okay. Now we want to isolate y, so we're, we've got a minus 2 here. We're going to add 2 plus 2. 2 minus 2 is 0, so that leaves just y on the left-hand side, which is what we want. And on the right-hand side, we have minus 3x. Minus 12 plus 2 is minus 10. Okay, so the final equation for the point for the line that passes through the point minus 4 2 and is perpendicular to the line y equals 1 third x plus 7 is y equals minus 3x minus 10. And we know this is correct because the slope is minus 3 here and it's the inverse and negative of the perpendicular line.